From Sky King, a look at city crews clearing an encampment on North Beacon Hill that neighbors have long called dangerous. It's heartbreaking, but in a way that is so difficult to manage. We've been talking about the situation for several months now. Maureen Clevin and Joyce Mork O'Brien are just two of many neighbors that have lobbied the city to do something about this stretch of road near 25th Avenue South and South McClellan Street for some time. I feel very strongly that we all deserve to feel safe and that um, I also feel that we should be able to live in peace with each other, um, but not at the expense of safety. They've called police for everything from drug use in public to loot acts in cars blocking the roadway, but say it likely wasn't their complaints that motivated the city. I'm also still angry that it took so long for anything to happen, and I really believe the only reason it did happen was because a man was murdered on Friday. Seattle police say a 39 year old man died Monday after the weekend shooting. Days later, this notice warning of a looming eviction. The city started clearing the camp this morning. As you can see, most of the cars are gone, but there's still a tremendous amount of property left behind. The whole process is one they say will take many days. In a statement, the mayor's office calling the encampment a threat to public safety, that outreach workers are engaging with individuals living on site to connect them with available shelter offerings. Neighbors left to wonder how long the clear street will last. Well, there's part of it is a sense of relief that it's finally going to be over. I don't have any confidence that they won't come back or that some group won't come back. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.